What's the scariest thing that's ever woken you up during the middle of the night? Woke up to my dad covered in blood shaking me like a lunatic. Apparently he had a dream that he was in an army and was killing people he woke up went to the bathroom saw he was covered in blood from a nosebleed and thought he sleepwalked murdered his family. Uh, AWW that was probably the scariest thing he woke up to too. The sound of a train while camping in Kansas. Turns out it was actually a train and not a tornado, but that train had me fear for my life. Trainado. Falling down the stairs. I was 12 and I was sleepwalking. I woke up as I was falling from the first step and proceeded to tumble down 18 stairs. All I got was a bruise. My little brother was hiding in my closet to scare me when I went to bed. He was in there for a while and fell asleep on some stuffed animals. He woke up in the middle of the night and just sort of fell out of the closet. I woke up to him just getting up and going to his room. My life is tame. I woke up to him just getting up and going back to his room. Ha ha ha. That sounds freaking hilarious. No explanation or anything. Just a silent escape full of regret. Jesus Christ. That made me laugh. Part of my ceiling collapsed on me. We knew there were leaks from the roof and were in the process of fixing those ourselves without really looking into any of the structural damage. After that, we hired professionals. A bear outside my tent. Somebody trying to break in. I was living alone at the time in a little studio flat in the city center. It was about 3am and I was woken up by some crashing sounds in the hallway. And then somebody started kicking hard at my bedroom door. Fortunately my door at the time was a pretty hefty fire door with a good strong lock. So I had enough time to call the police before he did any damage to it. I was living pretty close to the police station so they turned up fast. With dogs. And caught him still inside the building. As it turned out the guy was absolutely wasted and looking for somewhere to sleep. And from the outside my place still looked like the empty nightclub it used to be before it was converted into flats. So my guess is he thought it would be empty. Rather than actually attempting to rob attack anyone living there. I was still very shaken up by it at the time. Haha <laughs> wow. That's kinda crazy. Maybe he was a regular at the club before it was made into flats. Husband running into the bedroom, choking. Something about the way his footsteps were pounding and woke me up instantly. He swallowed one of those easy swallow Tylenols. Ironically enough and it caught in his throat. I asked if he was okay and he violently shook his head no. So I went from asleep to Heimlich in about 2 seconds. A really terrible way to be woken up. Especially since he said the last time it happened. He has a constricted esophagus from stomach acid scarring so he's prone to choking while eating. His ex. Wife had been unable to do it and he had passed out. You expect some big heroic adrenaline wave to come sweeping over you and empower you to magically save your spouse. But I was just terrified and swearing. I also thought I did it incorrectly. Because it wasn't a neat little chewy like in the movies. He bent over. Violently throwing up. Do I still do it? Do I stop? What do I do? But he was coughing and could speak. Told me to call 9. 1. 1. The 9. 1. 1 op reassured me that if he was coughing, he was getting air, and to encourage him to keep coughing. Then she let me off the line which in my state of hysteria, I took to mean that no one was coming. The paramedics and firemen showed up and filled my kitchen while I stupidly stood there in half a nighty with a blankie wrapped around me, and they took him off in an ambulance. The capsule apparently melted on the way to the air, but I'll never forget the horrible sound it made, rattling with wrongness in his throat as he would grab and pinch at his neck. People often vomit from the Heimlich, and their ribs are often broken during CPR. You saved him. Good job. The panic shrieks of my mother. My father was having a heart attack. After the tornado in Joplin, Missouri in 2011, we were left without power for several days. Our home was only slightly damaged, so we were able to stay there. My daughter had just turned 11 at the time and was sleeping on a pallet next to our bed because she didn't want to sleep in her room by herself with no electricity. She had been in a bathroom of her aunt's house during the tornado and that bathroom was literally, and I mean literally how it's meant to be used, the only place in the house left standing. Anyway, this was two night later. The three of us and our three dogs were all asleep in the room and I woke up to my daughter screaming that the house was on fire. Sure enough flames were coming from the master bathroom. Small flames, but flames. 
I got up and ran to the garage to get our fire extinguisher, but it was pitch black with no power. I had to go back in, get my phone and go back out to find it. By this time my wife and daughter had gathered up our two French bulldogs and gone outside but we couldn't find the pit bull puppy my daughter had gotten from us for her birthday. We couldn't find the cat either. So I went back into the bathroom but the flames were too much already for our fire extinguisher so I decided it wasn't worth it to die of smoke inhalation so I bailed. We called 9. 1. 1 about 6 times but emergency personnel was so spread thin with the tornado that it took about 20 minutes for anyone to get there. We sat in the road and watched our house burn. Total loss. My daughter was in the heart of the Joplin tornado and 2 days later watched her house burn. TL. DR. Woke up at 2 a.m. to flames from our master bathroom. Watched house burn. One time I was having a dream about giant green water snakes. One bit me in the freaking eye and I woke up screaming. To find my cat pawing at my face because he had no food. I had a dream a snake was wrapping around my head but woke up to see my cat was patting at my head because a stink bug was in my hair. My husband jumping up in bed next to me. Screaming that a cockroach just crawled over his legs. Then he continued shrieking while doing a strange jig on top of the bed. Furiously shaking his arms back and forth. After the initial terror, shock, and confusion however, it was hilarious. That's my kind of foreplay. A coyote pacing back and forth by my window after bouncing off the glass. Well it appears that you have a skinwalker problem. I recommend getting a Wichita stick. I woke up to a cockroach that had crawled into my ear. I crap you not. Excruciating pain. Tried to flush it out with water. No luck. I had to lie there for 6 hours before mum took me to hospital while it moved around. Scratched my eardrum and fluttered its wings. That sound is terrifying when it comes from in your ear. My ear was bruised from how hard I was pushing in an attempt to stop it moving. They first tried to blast it out with a high pressured little hose, which hurt like a bee and didn't work. So then they poured oil into my ear to drown it, then sucked the sucker out with a little vacuum. I'm sorry you had to go through this, but mostly I'm sorry I had to realize this is a real possibility in life. I stepped out of my bathroom to find my entire house lit up, two EMTs and a sheriff's deputy in my living room. They proceeded to try to tell me to come sit down, stay calm, relax and let them help me. I was like WTF is going on, why are you in my house? Apparently I had suffered a grand mal seizure in my sleep, never having this happen before. My wife called 9, 1, 1, I must have come out of the seizure, got up walked into the bathroom to take a pee and had no idea it even happened. While I was in the bathroom, they arrived, came in and my wife had turned all the lights on and I was oblivious to everything. Weirdest feeling ever, would not do again. I once woke up to see a helicopter crashing through my ceiling. I dove from my bed face first into my bedroom door to get away. It was the ceiling fan. A roommate having an episode of night terrors. Crap was awful the way he screamed. Woke up to my hamster screaming and I immediately started screaming for some reason. I then ran crawled over, still screaming. So we were both screaming at each other for a good 30 seconds. Was the scariest crap ever. He was fine. He's the biggest pee ever. I think he crap himself from climbing too high. I'm sorry, but that is goddamn hilarious. A cold lifeless hand falling flat on my face. Took me a second or two to realize did my own hand that I had been laying on. It was cold and numb from the elbow down. I woke up once and my hands and feet were completely numb. I remember biting them to make sure, and when they started coming to, they got the tickly feeling you get when your sleeping limb wakes up, except it hurt really bad and I started throwing my hands against the wall. I later concluded I had cancer because google. Cat jumping from my desk directly onto my back. Scared seven kinds of crap out of me, I didn't even know he was in the room. Comma seven kinds of crap. Sorry for being a filthy casual here but could you describe all kinds of crap? Someone calling my name. I was 100% sure that I heard someone calling for me, in a casual manner, as if this person was asking me to pass the salt or something. I was alone in the house. It was certainly a dream, but scared me anyway. 
severe pain in my chest making it nearly impossible to breathe. I was ready to go to the emergency room in a panic, but then thumped my chest with my fist, stopping the pain, and went back to sleep. You're like a human defibrillator. The condensed snuffling breath from a lioness pressing her nose against my tent in Savo a few feet from my face, pretty much pooped my pantsuit. And you just pray they don't realize that there's a tasty treat beneath the seemingly impenetrable, but easily shredded, wrapper. Same thing happened to me but with a cougar. Far less scary than your experience. I awoke once to a strange, high-pitched trilling sound and bright lights beaming through my window. For a second I seriously thought I was about to be abducted by aliens. Then I realized it was a toe doing its mating call in the front yard and car parked on the street with the headlights on. I once woke at 5am to someone whisper shouting, if that's a thing, my name. I thought maybe my dream had thrown me off or something but I was still pretty freaked out. Then I heard it again just when I was just about to drift off to sleep again. Turns out my dad had been out with his drinking buddies and was locked out of the house. Sleep paralysis. I could not move and there were gigantic spiders trying to eat me. God, I'm so happy that I haven't experienced hallucinations along with sleep paralysis. The sleep paralysis by itself is bad enough. My father screaming my name in a blood curdling, horrific cry for help. He had an aneurysm and passed in my arms. I woke up with a girl standing next to my bed, staring at me. At the same time I hear a horrifying screams, not from the girl but from somewhere far away. It took around 10 seconds for my scared and sleepy brain to realize my daughter, toddler, had woken up to look for me and so had my baby son in his room. Just a few weeks ago, woke up to scratching noises. I'm talking intense. I mean nails scratching down a blackboard intense. Freak out. Lights on. Staring at the wall where the scratching noise is coming from. Go to the next room over to investigate if it's coming from the other side. Nope. Sit awake for 3 more hours sweating profusely and coming up with conspiracies. Investigate as the sun comes up. Turns out it was a possum that had somehow gotten into my walls because it's too cold outside. Freaking Australia. When I was 18 I was in a house fire. Since then I've been terrified of fire. This story takes place roughly a year later when I was 19 and had just moved into my own apartment. As an incomplete quadriplegic. This was a huge deal. It was around 2am and I'm dead asleep. I suddenly wake up to my dog howling and the fire alarm blaring. I am freaking terrified. I'm also only wearing underwear. I throw on a shirt, get into my chair as quickly as possible, and head to the exit. This is when I realize how fricked I am. I'm in the 8th floor with no way down. I'd taken so long getting into my chair there's no one around. I just started sobbing uncontrollably. I feel a tap and see my two male neighbors standing over me. They ask if they can help and I stammer yes. Without hesitation one picks me up out of my chair and the other grabs my dog's collar. I forgot her least in my panic. They carried me down 8 flights of steps and held me outside in the 50-60 degree cold until they somehow found a chair for me. They also got a blanket from somewhere to cover me up with. They consoled me calmed my dog. After we were allowed back in one went upstairs and brought my chair back down. They walked me to my door and told me to come to them if I ever needed anything. They moved shortly after but that experience is one that will always stick with me. Obligatory top comment wow omg gold edit. This is my highest rated comment and thanks to whoever gilded me. Glad you all enjoyed it. I hope they know how much they affected me and now many others with their kindness. Holy crap those guys are awesome human beings. Glad you made it out okay. A stereotypical evil laugh. What freaked me out was that it started in my dream just before I woke up, and continued a few seconds after I was fully awake. It's usually just the sound outside that you hear. Your dream state mind interprets it as part of the dream, then goes oh shit, that's out there. Better snap out of it as it kicks into gear by the external stimuli. On Halloween, in the dead of night, I woke up to scratching sounds coming from the front door. My boyfriend and I had been binging on scary movies and I'm typically a pretty logical lady so I dismiss the noise as a spooky dream. But no, there it was again. So of course I decided to investigate. I crept over to the front window and peeked out of the blinds. It was two little kitties wrestling. 
and since this was obviously the best Halloween ever, I shook my boyfriend awake, feigning panic, and said there's something at the door so he was able to be frightened by the little guys too. I once farted myself awake, which was pretty startling. Impressive. Most impressive. I woke up to my friend's dripping sun lotion on my face with a fake dong. Was on vacation with my family and I was about 7-8 years old. Woke up one night because of these weird gagging noises. My brother was in the bed beside the mattress which I slept on. So I told him to cut the crap and go to sleep. He didn't stop. So I turned on the light and saw he was choking to death on his own vomit. Scared shitless. I ran and woke up my parents. We rushed out of the door and got in the car, as he was lifeless. Luckily, we saw a cop car and yelled at them while speeding on the highway, and we tailed them to the air after they understood it was serious crap. My brother lived and we found out that he had had an epileptic seizure for the first time ever, which combined with overeating had caused him to almost choke to death. He lived, but holy crap. I still think about if I had not woken up and we had not spotted that cop car. We were in a small town in Spain. So we didn't know where the O was. So many coincidences. Dang. Woke up to what I thought was a giant lobster on my leg. Ended up being a stuffed animal. Hence the name. That's just perfect. Woke up from a dream about a man who climbs in windows and watches people sleep to see someone sitting on the chair next to the bed I was sleeping in. Then actually woke up. When I was younger, a woman, whom I did not know, knocked on the frame of my door and shouted I'm home and went downstairs. I woke up my parents and my mother found her knocked out on our floor. She turned out to be our neighbor's daughter and she got back home from drinking and thought our house was hers. We woke her up and she left, but she went home barefoot and forgot her shoes. TLDR drunk neighbor breaks into our house thinking it's hers and we are left with her shoes. We feel too awkward to return them as it might be embarrassing for her or she might not remember. Neighbor's house on fire. Ended up being a murder. My wife, standing over me with a knife, whispering to herself that she needed to kill me. That was a rough year. A scorpion in my bed. When I was younger my mum was in the attic above my room and due to the weak flooring she fell through the ceiling and onto the end of my bed. Somehow this didn't disturb me. What made it terrifying was that when I woke in the morning, there was a large hole in the ceiling above me and an old clown puppet staring down at me. It was horrible. Woke up in the middle of the night to heavy breathing in my ear and a massive weight pinning me to the bed. Turns out our Malamute had figured out how to open my door and had decided to sneak into bed with me. Sleep paralysis. Frick that noise. Had Chipotle that morning. My cat jumped on me that night. Sharted myself awake. That's so tractor. Went a week without sleep and started hallucinating. They were just minor things at first. Hearing doors close. Seeing shadows. Then, while I was sitting in a chair in my living room when I hear somebody call my name. I turned my head and see my cat. He opened his mouth and says my name again. And then I passed out. I woke up and saw a spider the size of my hand descending from the ceiling toward my sleeping baby's head. I am horribly afraid of spiders and would have just ran if it was coming for me. Instead I went full mama bear and punched the sucker. Then I realized I was dreaming with my eyes open. I've done this countless times. I couldn't go back to sleep after. It seemed so real. You've been visited by the good policy grandpa. You will be blessed with good economics and healthcare but only if you comment sleep well burner. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.